Show. Season two. We are back. It has been a very, it. very long time. It's been a, a hot minute since we got to talk. It's been what, March? Since, I don't know, long time. Long time. Well, hi, we're back. We're back. And guess what? Today, we're going to tell you an old classic. We've already told this one to you once before, but we're going to do it again in a different way. Because we're not, we're not, we're not in Genesis this time. We are in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 11. There's a chapter, chapter 11 in the book of Hebrews has been nicknamed the Hall of Faith. You know how there's like a baseball Hall of Fame? Yeah. And a rock and roll Hall of Fame? It's basically the Bible's version of the Hall of Fame. But instead of Hall of Fame, it's it is Hall called of faith. Hall of Faith. Of faith. So you have all these Bible characters that are in the Hall of Faith, and it talks about how strong their faith was in God. Now, faith, we need to define that real quick. That's a church word <clears throat> that we like to use. Merritt, what is faith? Faith, my good sir, is believing in something that you cannot see. Interesting. Like Santa Claus. Or the Tooth Fairy. Or the Easter Bunny. Dude, like completely real. I captured the Easter Bunny. He, got, he finally escaped when I was 12 years old, but from the time I was 5 to 12, the Easter Bunny was named Buzz, and he lived in my backyard. I noticed there were a few years where the presents weren't as good at Easter time. That's because they were all coming to my house. Faith is believing in something that you can't necessarily see yet. Doesn't mean you won't one day see it, though. So the first person in this Hall of Faith we're going to talk about, as you read down, you come to a character named Abel. And his brother, Cain. So let me read it to you. By faith, Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain. This is how he was able to get a testimony of righteousness. God said to him and sent him his gifts because of his faith. Even though Abel has died a long time ago, he still talks to us today. So, so let's we'll think of it like this. You got you got Cain, who was a gardener. And you got Abel, who was a shepherd. gets this call from the Lord. He tells him that oh. no, tells him that he needs to give the best sacrifice that he possibly can. And he even told Cain what he wanted. Then he goes to Abel and Abel gets the same call that Cain did. Oh. No. Well, so, it, was, it was it was that time. Yeah. They all had to offer sacrifice. Exactly. God tells them to bring them a lamb. The best lamb. That they could find, right? So, you got Abel. He comes up, all awesome. Gives them the lamb. He gets on his knees. He cries out to God. He prays to God. He worships God. All the beans and mashed potatoes and gravy of, of, of worshiping, Abel did it. Then there's Cain. Dear old Cain. Rather than doing things the way that God wanted him to, was always not doing stuff the way God was supposed to. He was like, he was like, God, I'll I'll call you when I need you. It was time for Cain to offer up his sacrifice and his offering to God. What did Cain do? He brought fruits and veggies. He didn't do it the way God told him to. And I mean, you see, you see what happens here. Like I said, God blesses Abel. But he don't bless Cain. Well, he doesn't bless Cain because Cain didn't do it right. Here's what happens afterwards. Cain gets all... He gets all upset. He gets so mad. He gets jealous of Abel. Hey, yeah. He gets so jealous and mad at Abel that he goes and he kills him. Cain was a whiny baby Mixpazitron. That's what he was. Mixpazitron. Mm-hmm. Murderer. And, and from his then on, he had the. He was cursed. Cursed. Because he did such a bad thing. The curse of Cain. But we go back to what Hebrews says about Abel, and we learn from Abel mm -hmm. that if you are obedient to God, mm -hmm. you will be blessed. 
because God was very pleased with Abel because he did everything he was supposed to. You know, what, you know what's even sadder about Cain? He tried to hide Abel. And God knew where he was. Yep. Man, he just needs to get a shoe thrown at him. That's what needs to happen. But, yeah, like he said, always follow God, do everything God says, and God will be happy with you. You're going to have a good life with God. You're going to have a good life with the Lord. And people are going to be talking about how great a person you were for the rest of your days. Yup. Ah, bah. Now, we're done for now. But you get to go talk about today's lesson. You get to make a craft, maybe get some food. Who knows? We don't. But... We don't know. We're just we just make the videos. We just make the videos. But we before talk the Bible stuff. Before we go, we gonna pray, and then we gonna let you go. Okay. Would you like to pray? I'll I'll be glad to pray. Oh, okay. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we get to read your Bible, your words, and we get to learn from them. And thank you for Abel and the things we get to learn from him, and how if we are obedient to do the things you tell us to do, and we always listen, that you will bless us for doing what you want us to do. Thank you for your love, God. I pray that it would be a fun time in Children's Church and they would learn all these things and appreciate them, and I pray they would make a fun, really cool craft to help them remember it for the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We'll see you next week on The Church Show.